Well, the Rangers are preparing for game four of the LCS against the Astros. And Brett, I guess the MLB umpires heard your complaint because tonight they're opening up the roof. Yes. Yes. Well, it was I don't know if it was coincidental, but the team that had the roof closed was 0-3 in the playoffs. Well, the MLB called the newsroom. They said they were watching the forecast. <laughs> now you're complaining about that. Hopefully, it's so the roof's open tonight. The roof is it's opening tonight. It's going to be beautiful in Arlington. Uh, well, they I'm should just hoping have to pull out another open. win. That's well, what we need. Well, then that would show, that'll fix everything because again, the team that closes the roof is hasn't won yet. But tonight, if the roof is open, the Rangers can change they that. They better hope so. There it yes. is. 78 at first pitch. How nice is this going to be? Uh, 75 at 8 o'clock. The winds are calm. 71 as we get into the latter innings. All right, let's talk about near record highs. So tomorrow, very real possibility of making it up to 90. The record high is 92 in 1977. 91 on the board for Saturday. The record high is 93, set back in 1939. The only thing that may wreck this is just an increase in cloud cover. Tonight, the East Texas Yamboree, another beautiful evening out in Gilmer. Calm winds, temperatures fall to around 64 by 10 p.m. I would take a sweatshirt. Then overnight, if you notice today, when the front went through, it suddenly felt a little less humid. The winds were very light. All right, so we're back to this scenario where you have light winds, dry air, and so even though we were up to 84 today, we could drop almost 30 degrees down into the mid 50s and then swing that around again and warm up 30 plus some degrees tomorrow. Clear skies, beautiful night. Anytime it's in the 50s, it seems like it is the ultimate conducive evening for a deep sleep. And so hopefully that will be your case. Westerly winds tomorrow turn to the northwest as temperatures approach 90 degrees. It's a layers kind of day. Sweatshirt in the morning. No sweatshirt, short sleeves by the afternoon. Afternoon highs tomorrow. I think 90 is very doable. Longview up to 89. Gilmer up to 88. Look at Crockett and Groveton sneaking up to about 93 degrees. A very warm day and over the weekend near record warmth. Saturday clouds are increasing Sunday, so we'll pull that back a little bit and go with an 87 for a high temperature. Rain chances, no rain chances through the weekend. Monday, Tuesday, some small rain chances showing up. Wednesday, Thursday, 40 to 50% chance of rain is showing up in the rainfall forecast. This was updated today by the Weather Prediction Center and now anywhere from an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half from Emory out toward Dallas, three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch and a quarter over toward Jefferson, half inch to an inch down to center. And again, this is going to be Tuesday during the day, Wednesday into Wednesday night. All right, tonight, clear, cooler, 55 with light west southwest winds, sun rises tomorrow at 729. Baylor Scott White, Texas by Joint Hospital, seven day forecast. Sunny, warm autumn day tomorrow near 90. Record high Saturday is 93. Should be able to make it up to about 91. Warm and dry on Sunday. Then Monday becoming breezy with a 20% chance of rain. Clouds increase on Tuesday. And then showers for some on Wednesday. A 40% chance of rain. So let's talk about this. There's high pressure off to the east coast, right? So it's holding this storm back just a little bit. And so it may take until very late Wednesday night for some of this rain to spread into the area. Otherwise, it does look like it will arrive. And if that scenario plays out, Wednesday will be just a little bit warmer and perhaps uh, drier. All right, Thursday, periods of rain in the forecast. This one does look like we're going to get into the rain. And you can see some of these yellow areas here. It's heavy. So we may have a better chance for some heavier rain Thursday, Thursday night into Friday. All right, so that's the seven day forecast. Now let's talk about the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's winter forecast. And of course, we'll do our own forecast coming up in January with our winter outlook, but they are forecasting near average temperatures. And when you look at this, it really falls in line with El Nino and we have an El Nino advisory in effect right on through winter into spring. So above average temperatures likely in the Pacific Northwest, also around the Great Lakes with near average temperatures, perhaps even a little bit cooler across the southern plains. And this also falls in line with El Nino. Wetter than average likely across Florida, the Gulf Coasts all the way back here into East Texas. So the only concern here, Brennan, is that if we get a bout of cold air and we have some moisture in place, we may see some snow and ice in East Texas this winter. Of course, we'll be watching that as the months develop. All right.